It's Collecting Andy. Hey guys, how's it going? We're back in the messy room. Andrew Smith here, Collecting Andy, your friend and all for And I wanted to show you something in the in, in the messy ass room. Here's Pregnant Pokemon Jala, Key Collection, Coin Collection, Loots, uh, all kinds of tomfoolery in the building. Clock. And uh, I wanted to share with you a little theory uh, of my, a little investment piece, if you will. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. So we take um, this shoebox and it's full of empty Pokemon and some Batman booster packs. Just any pack I uh, sometimes would open and you know, you go, oh, yeah, that was a good uh, clean tear. You know, just keep them. Keep them for the joy. Keep them for the love. Shining Fates, Unbroken Bonds, Champion's Path, Champion's Path, Rebel Clash, Cosmic Eclipse, Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Sword, and, you know, just a few more. Uh, the Japanese packs, too. And, uh... I, I collected all these. Well, I didn't collect them. They, they, they're rubbish. They're trash. But I kept them all because I'm going off the theory, right? If you have a Wizards of the Coast packet, you know, from back in the day, 20 years ago, those things can go for like sometimes $50 just for the packet. And my theory is obviously these packets are worth nothing. They're actually uh, literal trash. But in 20 years time, when... Uh, or maybe 15 years time, when we're coming on Pokemon's 40th anniversary. Will these be worth, if I, if I keep them, which right now the plan is yes. Will these be worth, uh, you know, could they be worth $5 each? Could they be worth $1 each? Could they be worth $40 each? Could they be worth $10,000 each? I highly doubt it. Very much doubt it. But right now, I have what is effectively rubbish. And my question is, do you all think one day this trash will become treasure? Uh, I guess, thank you for coming to my TED talk.